2002 was an ideal growing season and marks the return to Alexander Valley for the prime, primary fruit sourcing of, of our Cabernet Sauvignon. Um, I just had the opportunity to retaste uh, this vintage in October of 2012, and it's fantastic. Color-wise, uh, you get a medium plus garnet ruby hue, um, which which gives way just just at the rim to a little bit of that brick red color, showing a little bit of mature uh, aging going on. Aromatically, this wine is alive with with blackberry and cherry pie and vanilla and baking spices. It's really wonderful. All that is, is backed by uh, a bracing acidity, which is then softened by our subtle uh, silky tannins. Really wonderful. This wine is, is certainly showing a lot of youth uh, still. It's got, uh, mostly driven by the primary fruit characteristics, you're barely, you're barely dancing on the, the the whole sweet spot where the secondary aromatics of the dried tea leaf and, and, and dried rose petal start to start to in, intermingle. So there's plenty of time left, there's plenty of aging time. If you have that cellar space, certainly put this wine away for a little while or enjoy it now. It's bright, it's alive, it's wonderful. Decant it, there's a little bit of sediment, so you will have to decant for that reason, uh, but also just to open it up a bit. If you have the time, let it sit for an hour or two. It's absolutely fabulous. Enjoy this wine, it's a good one. Don't miss out. Cheers. 2003 was not the easiest uh, growing season out there for the, in the vineyards. Uh, nonetheless, it was a classic wine. We brought a lot of beautiful grapes into the winery. And it, 2004 was a much warmer vintage. Everything was early. Bud break was early. Harvest was early. Uh, sitting down to retaste through this wine in 2012, it was, it was wonderful to see how much of the youth it's, it's still hanging on to.